the difficulty that I had, I will say that because that was in a court order that I got. I wanted to go visit with him. I became aware that he was in the jail. I um, came over, I called multiple times to get uh, access to him. They advised me that he was um, being seen by medical. I waited, I called again, I waited, I called again. Then they said he was available, then he wasn't available. Then ultimately they said, well, he's now being interviewed. So I went to uh, find out about that. I got a court order to interrupt the- Did he make statements? I don't know, I don't have the discovery yet. Did he make any statements? But I went to go talk to him um, to interrupt it in the sheriff's department. Uh, wouldn't allow them. That was they Wednesday. disregarded the court order. How many Wednesday? times have you had to get a court Wait, order? They disregarded the court order? Never. Never. Seen by medical law? Well, that's typical for somebody that's um, arrested. They are cleared by the medical law. So but in this case, he showed up in a wheelchair. He, well, I, I, don't, I can't speak to his medical condition. I'm just telling you, they told me that he was in, um, in medical being cleared to see where the place and so forth. When is he still on suicide okay, watch? I, when, when I, were you I'm denied not, access? What day is it? I believe it was Wednesday. I, I need to, I need to go. He didn't enter a plea here today. He has not entered a plea, no. Can you just tell you? I'm in the public defender's office. I'm a supervisor in the public defender's office. And you were appointed as I'm, I'm, I'm representing him. I'm privileged to be able to represent him. That's what we do. Are you from Sacramento? No. I mean, I've been here a long time, but I'm not from Sacramento. Oh. Do you think this, uh, if, if and when this case is tried, do you think it will be tried here in Sacramento? You know, I don't know anything about this. I mean, I understand everybody wants information, but literally you saw me get handed the complaint in court, and then I have no discovery. I have no information other than what I'm reading in news reports. I have LDA for the discovery. I understand it's hundreds of thousands of pages. I haven't gotten anything yet, and I don't expect that I'll get a lot initially, but hopefully it'll be coming in and I'll, I'll have at least some, some basic information. I am reading the news reports, and that's about all I have. Ms. Howard, how's your client feeling? I, I don't want to talk about him. He was in a wheelchair today. I do, I understand it, but I don't want to talk about him or his, his health. Well, I court on May 14th. And then what? And then we'll find out what we're going to do on the 14th. Are you not when a plea is entered? I'm not sure when a plea is going to be entered. I, I, like I said, if this case truly has hundreds of thousands of pages of discovery, as they're indicating to me it does, and I'm not surprised given what they are suggesting um, that has happened, I, it, could take, it could take months. Are you getting help on the case? I, I will be getting help, yes. Will you be requesting a change of venue? I, <laughs> this is all real premature. I, I can't, I mean, other than just to tell you that I don't have any further information about it, I can't really help you all. Walking into today, did you expect the attention that you're seeing right now? <laughs> uh, we knew it was going to be uh, newsworthy. I don't think we expected it was going to be anything like this.